plum cake. We're going to do an eggless version. I'm sure you must have had a look earlier also. I have posted there are so many types of plum cakes that you can make. I put with egg and I have made and I made with eggless also. And this is another one. Thank you for watching my channel and supporting me always. And here we go. And wishing everyone in an advance a very happy and a Merry Christmas. So let's have a look at the ingredients. Usually for Christmas cake, there is always lots of ingredients. Okay, In this cake, you are not going to beat, you are not going to do anything big task like. Just mix, add and bake. Okay, Here we go. 200 grams of the dry fruits. You can make... In fact, you can take um, cashew, you can take uh, badam, you can take tutu fritties, you can take raisins, you can take apricots, whatever you like. I have taken 200 grams of it. To it, I'm going to ha add about 200 ml of the fresh orange juice and I'm going to soak this for a while, say about half an hour. Give it a good mix. I'm going to rest this till we do the next step. Okay, let that rest. I have here about three tablespoons of the same nuts which I'll be adding on top of it. So I'm just taking one tablespoon, a little bit of the flour from where I have kept for baking. Just going to run through this this way so that it doesn't sink into the cake when we are adding this. Alright, keep this also aside. We will need quarter cup of the oil, quarter teaspoon of salt, one and a half cup of the all-purpose flour, quarter teaspoon of the cinnamon powder and I have to make fresh powder of this masala here which I'm going to add, a piece of a small piece of the nutmeg, one cardamom and two pieces of the cloves. I'll make fine powder of this and add it on to this flour when I am doing it. I have here half cup of the sugar plus I have taken one tablespoon. That means half cup sugar plus one tablespoon of the uh, sugar. Here what I'm going to do is first I'm going to do a caramel. So before to add the caramel I've just added this onto a straight pan okay and I am going to start the stove on so that it gets burnt side by side and then I'll be adding about same half cup of the water. If you're taking sugar half cup the same half cup plus one tablespoon of water to this caramel when we are making then we will need about two tablespoon of the cocoa powder one tablespoon of baking powder half teaspoon of baking soda half cup of fresh milk three tablespoon of the uh, milk powder and uh, one teaspoon of the vanilla two tablespoon of the um, apple cider vinegar you can use some regular vinegar as well let's do the caramel so boil the water and keep it aside so we're going to add the boiled water onto this caramel here so start mixing it without adding anything just start to burn the sugar in the pan so what happens is it will start to burn like this and start to form the caramel once we desire when we reach the desired color consistency i will show you what color that we are looking at at the time we will add in the hot water and then we will give it a good mix and allow it to rest well this is what, what we are doing if you look at my earlier previous cakes i have shown you very clearly how you will make the caramel there i have explained how to make caramel everything so here i'm not going to go elaborate again I will post the link for all the videos of the plum cakes that I have put in my channel in the end of the in the end of the video here. You may just go through them there. This is the color I am looking. I am off the flame now. I am going to add in the hot water. Okay. Once we have poured the hot water, so that this rest and cool. In the pan I have added the uh, all purpose flour, milk powder, 
vanilla powder and the masala the cake masala which i told you that you need to add about uh, two cloves that i have added there then now what i am doing is just mixing all of this very well okay when you add quarter cup of the oil you see how easy the cake is no need to beat do anything just mix it baking powder and then half teaspoon of half tablespoon sorry all measurements are in tablespoon okay one tablespoon of baking powder half tablespoon of the baking soda chop the cake okay add some this will for surely go in and sink but still you we will do another one more time popping of this but for time being we'll just add a little bit what is half of this the other half we will retain it okay now as i showed you the cooker how i have kept this drop in the cake into the cooker and now what i am going to do is just cover it up with the cooker lid if you don't have a cooker lid you can cover with something with air tight alternatively remove the gasket that is got and then in 10 minutes this cake was this tin was getting heated last 10 minutes now the cake is like i mean the flame is very low i'm going to bring it to a medium and a smaller stove i have kept the flame and let me show you the flame you see the flame how it is on a medium stove and you reduce the flame keep it for 20 minutes and then we will open and see and then we will bake it another some more time after topping up with some more uh, nuts so this is how it is looking see how whatever i put it has gone down right and never seems to be seen now the balance whatever nuts we had we just going to put it on top and then keep it for another 15 to 20 minutes and then put a skewer and see if it is baked well then fine otherwise bake it until you feel the cake is done well cake is completely baked look at the stick come up clearly now i'm just going to rest let the cake completely settle down then we will take it out our plum cake is ready see so soft you can feel the softness of the cake see 
so this is how we have done the eggless plum cake I will cut it and show it to you guys so this is how the cake looks see so soft and moist happy baking and happy eating bye bye